Just bounce to this. Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Brandon Clements, and welcome back to part three of our uh, VFX project. So we're going to go ahead and jump into Cinema 4D and pick up right where we left off. So right now you can see uh, this is our Octane uh, render preview that we uh, had from last time. We got everything kind of matching up to the boundaries. It looks pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to my other display. It's going to suck, but I don't want to mess up the, um, the boundaries and get this kind of locked in how we had done before in the last video. Move it over to my other display and I'm going to make uh, small tweaks so that we can get this gold leaf to kind of sit on top here and to get everything just kind of uh, nice and flush with the, the glass and then kind of move this book around and turn it into a matte object. Okay, so I'll do my best to make sure that um, everything is being shown. Um, what we need to do, I'm just going to change the startup and I just lost my live viewer. So note to self, if you change that, it's going to take your live viewer away. Let's see if I can get this to pop back up so that I can work um, in real time. Okay, yes, we are looking good here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new shader, a new octane material, and I'm gonna call this uh, uh, just book, and I'm gonna just drag this onto the book. This is gonna be super simple because uh, the only thing we need to do is go into the common and we need to check on this mat. Um, what that will do is it will actually just capture the shadows and reflections from whatever we have here. So matte objects are awesome. They're kind of like holdouts. So now that we have the book set up nice and um, it's looking good, let's go ahead and adjust the mesh. So again, I'm going to bring this over to the other window. Uh, I apologize, but it just makes it a little bit easier on me to make the tweaks that we need to do. So we're going to go into the mug. We're going to grab these vertices and we're going to start rotating them. And I can see my live viewer exactly the degree of rotation that's going to line up with the mug. Uh, what I could also do is um, add a octane object tag so that it refreshes and I know that it's refreshing correctly. Um, so everything is looking really nice. Let's kind of make this a little bit bigger. And it's kind of it's backwards in this front view um, just from what's showing up in the render view. So I'll see if I can move this over here. You can see I almost got it. Can we do it at the same time together? Oh, awesome. Okay, we can. So this is what I was doing, just kind of moving this around. Um, let's see here. I want to go the other way. Okay, so that's really, really close. Um, and the good thing is we can kind of get even closer in After Effects uh, after... Uh, we actually get the renders out, the render layers. Okay, so looking really nice here. Let's go ahead, um, take this loop selection. Let's see if we can get this all in the same view. Just kind of scale this out just a little bit bigger. And I think that will do it for just matching that up. Okay, cool. So the next thing we need to do is just work on the UVs. I know something you guys all love. Uh, I don't know anyone who really enjoys UVs that much. Okay, so I'm going to have this whole selection. I'm going to hit Control A. We're in Polygon Selection. We're going to make sure that we show the UV mesh. So there it is. And then we're going to go into Polygon um, Selection. And what we're going to do is just do a front projection. Let's go into Projection and say Frontal. And we get this, okay? Um, so this is what the camera sees. And if we scale this up, uh, we need to make sure that our logo, let me go ahead and navigate and find that in the, uh, in the scene files here. Let's see, do I have this set up? This is what we are using um, for the cutout. Okay, so this is like a uh, 4K square image. All right, so in this boundary from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, we need to make sure that our um, logo appears exactly on the glass, okay? So that's what we need to try to match. And I wish I could show that in some way in real time, uh, but just trust me, that's what we need to do. Um, we're going to go back over, let's see, 
into our let's just do our startup and let's make sure we save and we're gonna bring up our octane live viewer window and send it back and see how close we are okay so you can see this is what it looks like on the glass now we just need to make sure that all the other polygons aren't actually displaying the uh, Lazarus logo so that means the the ones that are uh, on the back side we need to just kind of move those around and scale them so that this is showing up correctly okay and it would help if I went ahead and brought some lights into this scene so I'm gonna jump over again I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna take um, these three lights that I have and I'm gonna copy and paste those in here and make sure that each target tag uh, is pointing at the mug okay so let's jump out of the camera and see where we're at and let's see you can see our background object still showing up so let's go ahead and look and see where our camera is so if I just turn this green this is our key to the right and left and it looks like all of these need to be spun 180 okay so let's go ahead and put them in a null and I'm gonna move the positions uh, to the center just using the access tool okay so um, I, pr I promise I'll talk about these more in depth after we kinda spin these around um, the good thing was Evan had sent me uh, pictures of the set and I know that he was using these uh, cylindrical type of lights on the left and right um, and then he, w he had a softbox here and he gave me the dimensions of that softbox so there's a key that's right above sorry I'm probably making you guys sick <laughs> with that background so there's a key right above the glass and then like I said there's like these cyl cylindrical lights to the left and right um, they don't have to be perfect necessarily they're going to uh, just be able to give us some emission and reflections into our scene uh, what I'm using right now the size of this box is uh, 60 by 30 roughly centimeters and um, it has a power of 6 the temperature I believe all of these are at 5600 K so he was shooting like daylight um, coming in here okay so let's go back to our camera we can actually add a octane uh, camera tag and we can uh, use this later let's go ahead and resend that in octane okay so now it's starting to look uh, a little bit better we'll, we would have to adjust some of the positions of these lights obviously but we can see this more clearly um, how the Lazarus logo is showing up here on the front so again we're gonna have to jump into polygon world and just um, or I should say UV world and start to uh, fix this okay so we're gonna jump out of the camera and let's grab the mug we just want the side that is only facing the camera okay so we can see our camera is up here in the top view we're going to deselect I'm sorry let's go let's deselect the front so we only have the back and if we use our move tool and our polygon UVs then we can shrink these down and these are just unimportant to us right now we can kinda just put them in the corner so let's look at what that does when we do that we'll jump into the startup and um, let's bring up the live viewer and just from that one change let's see what that looks like so since I moved those uh, polygon those UV polygons out of the way you can see that we are seeing this um, on the front now uh, it looks like we need to reverse this uh, Lazarus logo so an easy way to do that is just to go back into the um, UV edits and we need to just grab let's invert our selection um, there we go and we want to just invert this so we need to go to uh, let's see transform and we need to uh, set this to negative one and hit apply okay so not bad uh, we could probably make some of these changes just by going to the mug and let's actually offset it in the uh, in the V and we actually need to let's see 
make it smaller. So we could again use our tool here um, to shrink. So we need to select the uh, the mug, the tag, the uh, UV selection, and then we should be able to just shrink this down. Uh, but it's not doing it uniformly, so we need to just come over here and say let's let's do something like uh, let's see 50 and 50 that is too small so let's just control Z let's say 80 and 80 okay not bad and let's just use our move tool I've hit W now we got our move tool and let's just kind of put this into place okay so here's our reference of what the glass looks like and let's go back over into cinema and we're pretty close um, the actual Lazarus logo is right the A uh, sits right above the handles so we can kind of scoot that up a little bit uh, we're getting really close to something like that and let's flip back and the brewing company is just right above where the handles are so okay that's pretty that's pretty close to where we need to be um, it looks like the glass is slightly um, tilted just a little bit. Uh, the, so the only thing we need to do is actually just rotate this just slightly um, to the right. Um, so let's go ahead and close this. We'll go back to our body paint UV edit. And uh, you can see that we can't rotate it. We j actually need to grab the polygons and um, rotate it here. So let's kind of, and let's see, keep tweaking it. So um, this is kind of straight up and down. We want the 2D view to actually be pretty straight. And then it, it will show up exactly how we need it to in the render. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, we've made some really good progress on this uh, project. So in the next lesson, we're going to take a look at finessing it a little bit more. Uh, probably add some more... Uh, a subdivision surface modifier to this to round it out so it's not so CG looking and uh, just put on our final tweaks but we've got the UV out of the way thank goodness now it's time to just use lights and make it look as good as possible before we bring it into After Effects so thanks a lot guys for checking this one out if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up uh, check out the stuff we got on Gumroad and if you like that go ahead and leave our leave some support there and if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section below I try to get those as fast as I can so Again, thanks a lot, guys. We really appreciate, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.